the Novrish SSG-10 TDC install. So today we're gonna be doing the TDC on the Novrish SSG-10. A little monster energy car down there. Let's see if you could crack that thing off. All right, so you're a little low. All right, so first you take out this screw, this screw, this screw. And you pull off your lower, and you set it to the side very gently, not to knock out the spring in the clip for your detent. Take the screw out of here. So Philip said, you unscrew your outer barrel, of course, pull it off. You're gonna set your cylinder and spring set to the side. You're gonna get something that's not sharp and push your hop up and barrel assembly out. In this case, you, just, you pull it out. And then I'll show you what to do from here. First, you take this out of your TDC kit, and it's a jig for drilling. You take the upper little piece off, slide this down inside of your outer barrel. To There's an arrow on it that points to the shooting direction, and you line it up to the magwell hole. It comes with a screw, and you take your screw and you start it in here just like this. And we're gonna take this clip here, and this is gonna make sure it's centered where it doesn't spin. I'm going to tighten up the screw and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so now that we got it centered, got the screw tight, you're going to keep the drill right here. We're going to get wood behind it and we're just going to drill straight through. It's very thin metal, so it doesn't have to be super hard. And then you got your hole. So we put the bracket with the nut in the top and I actually use the silver, I use the standard hop. So we got that in, now we're gonna install it in here. I try to slide this down to the end, that way whenever it goes in, it'll kind of stay towards the end. And the nut goes to the top where we drilled the hole. And then I'll show you what to do from here. All right guys, so what I've done now is I went ahead and put back on the bracket here and i've got the tdc installed and here's the knob for it now with the tdc pro you actually get this little clicker which is a detent which is super duper cool and it even has double-sided tape on it and it comes with an extra piece of double-sided tape in case you mess up so let's hope i don't mess up and we're going to move it and try to get it centered then i'm going to go ahead before i go two nuts i'm going to screw in the the knob that way I get it straight before I stick it down see what happens super cool right now you'll hear it in a minute start clicking there's actually a little clicker in there I call it a clicker it's a detent hear that isn't it a beautiful sound now? and that is the TDC Pro Pretty sweet, right? Now what we're gonna do is press it down to that double sided tape sticks, because it's actually concaved. And you wanna screw that down to that O-ring, pretty much it's gonna touch. As soon as that O-ring touches, we're in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and stick this back into our cylinder. I say cylinder, back into the actual gun part. All right, so this is the SSG-10 Novrish with the TDC. Let's see if it's any different. Well, I could not catch that Monster Energy truck before. Oh! Well, does the TDC make a difference? Yes. That was the flattest shot I've ever seen a sniper shoot. And it does have the tracer adapter on there now, which I don't have any tracers that are heavy. Now we're just gonna see what a chrono is at. Let's go, boys and girls. With the TDC, here goes the chrono. Keep in mind, these are super heavy BBs. All right, this is with the TDC. 